We're talking about a new interface from a company that's never done it before. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Unfiltered. I'm Tay. This is David. We are back around the drum. We are talking about the new announcement by Black Lion Audio of their brand new and first interface, the Revolution 2 times 2 I think it's two by two. Two by two. <laughs> we here at Pixel Pro Audio, David, have seen Black Lion and Audio for a long time from mm -hmm. the, uh, when they were doing modifications to existing gear uh, to their clocking technology. Mm -hmm. But they've gotten really serious about Pro Audio in the last several years. Um, they've got preamps, compressors, power conditioners, but now they have made their first brand new audio interface. Yeah, it's the Revolution two by two. <laughs> There you go. It's kind of a big deal. Um, they've been doing this in secret for a few years now, and they were, they've been using their own technology, um, like their preamps and especially their power conditioning, to make probably the cleanest, uh, like as far as noise interface goes on the market, but probably the most colorful preamps in mm. an interface on the market. Yeah. So um, that's kind of what we've got here. We've got two mic inputs okay. with a main output gain knob, input and playback mix knob, uh, a super high quality headphone amp. We've also got the analog outputs in the back for monitors, Spitify-O for things like a Kemper um, and other digital preamps, and of course the USB-C connection uh, to make this a bus powered interface. Um, so that's what we're looking at with this interface. What do you think of the look of it? Um, I love the look. It's black from <laughs> Black Lion Audio. That makes sense, yeah. I mean, it doesn't have to be, but they made it black. Uh, it looks super sleek, super modern, um, you know, shiny. It's got edges to it. I mm -hmm. love that, like, like square look that, that people are going for these days. Um, and this is no exception. You know, it's a tabletop unit, desktop unit. Mm -hmm. So it's going to look great on any surface. Uh, so it's just got that nice, like, like, uh, Ah, sexy look, David. Oh, you hate that word. <laughs> wow. Know, wow. What is happening here? I just, I, I crawled out of the weed. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, what do you think? I'm very intrigued. So, I, full disclosure, I'm not going to get this because I don't need a, a two channel interface. But mm -hmm. I think it's very interesting that a company wants to put really colorful, really colorful preamps in an interface, like a, a, an entry level interface. Okay. Um, because for years we've seen everyone go for clean, and that's boring. It's so boring. What do you what do you think color means for them? What do you think this is going to be? Well, there's no transformers, um, but it's got Nikicon capacitors, Wima film capacitors, and uh, Vishay, if that's the right pronun pronunciation. Let us know below. Yeah, please <laughs> tear me apart. Um, and Nikicon capacitors are like a hi-fi sounding capacitor. Wema Film, uh, those are really smooth and, and natural sounding capacitors. So they obviously they did a good job with component selection here. Um, other than just the components, it's also fully balanced all the way through from the mic preamp, preamp to the converter. I don't know of any other company that does that. Okay. Or nobody says it anyway. Mm -hmm. And that's really important because it cuts down noise a lot. Also to cut down noise and increase headroom, is their, uh, like th they took the same kind of technology in their, uh, hopefully you can put a picture up here, their power conditioner. Yeah, it's actually called the PGI tech. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. That is another thing that just cleans up any noise in the signal, uh, not in the signal path, sorry. Well, yeah, in the signal path, yeah, but sure, it cleans eventually. up any noise within the entire unit. Like all the electronics are just cleaned up and filtered. I'm really curious as to how this sounds. I'd love to get one in and try it because this is pretty intriguing. Yeah, they also have the, you know, they're known for their clock technology, but this, they've developed something new for this, and that's their Macro MMC there, and it's just for this. I'm sure it's something, I don't know what the acronym stands for, but it's probably mm -hmm. just something like micro, like they, like, they, like they could shrink it down into this unit. Yeah, and a lot of people don't really think about word clocks too much. Um, we just did a mastering converter episode. Uh, go check that out. We'll link it below. But uh, word clocks, they, they make a pretty big difference, and it's kind of cool to see an entry-level interface focusing on a word clock, mm -hmm. other than Antelope, obviously, because they, they, that's their thing. 
Um, it's cool that Black Lion also has a thing with, with clocks and uh, that they're making a big deal of it. Totally. So basically, this thing, they've gathered power conditioning parts. They've gathered word clock parts. They've combined it with like the best parts they could find, components mm-hmm. they could find, um, to to smash this together for a <laughs> two in two out uh, interface. Brand new, their first one. Wow, for three ninety nine. Three ninety nine is what it maps at. That's kind of crazy. I yeah. really want to hear this because I like to go in skeptical of audio stuff, but yeah. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's Black Lion, so. I'm pretty hopeful. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is. I, I'm I'm intrigued, and I'm I'm really looking forward to hearing it too, because uh, you know we are current uh, audience ID44 owners, mm-hmm. so that's got a you know very cl- clean sound to it. Um, so I'm I'm interested to see, to see kind of what what this is. You know, this is this adds another another variable to try to choose from out there. But um, I think you know what you're gonna, what you're going to get, and it's going to be um, very very high end, clean sound. Uh, Clean sounding, I mean, like, like um, you know, clean no signal path. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, like with the color that you're talking about. Right, of the preamps. Yeah. So tell me this. Where do you see black line audio going from here? This seems like ground zero, right? Yeah, it seems like it's the foundation. Um, I would like to say I see a console in their future, but I highly doubt that because <laughs> not many people are using consoles anymore. Um but <laughs> that's way that's way up there. Yeah, I'm shooting for the stars there. But uh, I I obviously see a four channel interface and an eight channel interface coming. Um, mm-hmm. I I I hope I hope this goes well because this is very intriguing. It's it's really cool to see colorful preamps in interfaces on the market. So you can have a signature sound of an interface. That's like that sure. was the cool thing about having a console was it had its sound. Now you can have this interface and it's got its sound. Yeah, yeah. Not just clean. Yeah, this is awesome. Okay, okay, okay. We got one more thing to talk about. Mm-hmm. Does it come with software? A surprisingly good set of software. <laughs> yes. It's kind of insane. Yes. Like the price of the software alone should be more than the interface, <laughs> but it's yeah. all free. So uh, it comes with Studio One Artist, which is $100 software. That's a, a, a DAW. It's... The DAW I recommend to people if they're just starting out, mostly because it comes with interfaces, but it's very easy to use. It also comes with a lot of great free plugins. It comes with Isotope Elements, which is uh, Ozone Elements, um, RX Elements, like denoising. Uh, it's got good vocal mixing stuff. You also get um, Brainworks BX Digital and the Brainworks Lindell preamp plugin. Okay. If you if the preamp in the interface isn't <laughs> colorful enough, you can add more color in the DAW. <laughs> nice. I, that's an insane suite of software because that's the kind of software I would associate with an actual professional. Mm-hmm. Like the Brainworks stuff, when I think of Brainworks, I think someone who does this for a living, like an actual professional. So you get it for free. Can't uh, argue with that. That sounds like a steal. Yeah. So that's that's awesome. You know, like when you buy an interface, you know, some you used to not get anything, but now peop, you know, companies are bundling software with it, but you know, this one, I don't know, struck me as like significant like value I think it's for the interface. It's one of the best if not the best software bundle for an entry level interface. What do you guys think? Let us know below. Uh, are you intrigued with that? Uh, do you like Black Lion Audio? Are you super excited for their first interface? <laughs> Let us know below. And please go subscribe to our newsletter. You are uh, qualified for our free giveaways for life. Every single one. Subscribe to our channel and give us a like. We appreciate it. And your your help will, will support us in continuing to make these kind of videos. Thanks, David. Thanks, Tay. We will see you around the drum next time. We are talking about the new announcement by Black Lion Audio. There we go. That's much better. (laughs) 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 Can't even do that in bloopers. No, that sucks. (laughs) Okay, here we go. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Okay.